Hi everybody, it's Sheree. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to show you a little bit of an update on this bed that I'm working on. Well, let's see. Let me get you up to date. This bed had been done in vintage duck egg and it's hot. It's hot outside. The person who was doing it had never used chalk paint before really and poor thing, he, he was helping here at the barn. But what happened was, is it went on, but it went on super thick and it was just super globby and it just, he didn't know how to use it and I wasn't here. So unfortunately, I've had to sand off all of that paint and start over. Of course, when I sanded it off, what happened was it took off the, the finish. So what I did was I sanded it all down, got it really smooth with the 220 grit sandpaper. Then I went back and used some chalk paint underneath the vintage duck egg that I'm gonna be using now. The reason I did that, I used a different color. I used a brown and a black just to kind of combine it to give it a little bit of character in some places, a little bit brown, a little bit black in some. But I did that so there would be something showing through the paint other than just the bare wood when I distressed it. Now you can see how fast this paint is drying. Um, I'm putting it on light because I want it to be kind of almost like a real thin coat so I can just dress it back. But yeah, it's drying super fast. I can put it on there and, and just like by the time I almost get back, that one section is almost dry. So, I mean, I'm having to really, really wet my brush a lot as I go. But yeah, I wet it and then it'll start getting gummy and feel like it's pulling. That's when you know this brush is, you know, paint's going on a little thick. So, see like in this spot here, the paint's a little bit thick. So, that's what happens. But, just to kind of show you, I am using my Dixie Bill Mini. It's one of my favorite brushes, as you can tell. But it's great. It's easy to hold for my hands. And I can pretty much get it anywhere. Even in the 8-ounce jars, it fits really well. I always try to keep my brush strokes real light. And I try to blend them. I like the paint, you know, to go on. I just like a smooth finish. Some people don't. I mean, some people don't, don't mind. They just put it in any direction they want. They glob it on thick or whatever. It's just me. It's just my preference. I like it thin, thin coats, and then just a light touch on the brush. Um, because, like I said, if you go and you rework this space right here too much on the second coat, say if I wanted to rework it and it's a slicker piece of wood, um, it's going to pull the paint off. So what you want to do is, instead of reactivating the paint, you just want to go once, let it dry, and then the second coat, do a super light touch. And then go back and then fill in that second coat. So, okay guys, I'm going to continue working on this. 